In this video, we're going to talk about return on investment and how to interpret it. So the way that return on investment, also called ROI, the main way that it's calculated is by taking operating income, which I'll say is OI, operating income, okay, which is right here on my income statement, divided by total assets. Okay, this is the primary way that we calculate it. But there's also another way that you can calculate it. You can calculate it by taking margin, which is actually your profit margin ratio, times turnover. Okay, and most managerial textbooks will just say margin times turnover, but it's actually your profit margin times your asset turnover. And that confuses some students because there are so many different turnover ratios, so in this one you're going to use the asset turnover ratio. Okay, so let's talk about why this works first, this margin times turnover. So profit margin is equal to operating income divided by sales. And your asset turnover is sales divided by total assets. Okay, so if you remember back from your math classes, if I have sales in the denominator for profit margin and I have sales in the numerator for asset turnover, then those two would cancel each other out. And that would leave me with operating income over total assets. Okay, so let's go through, let's run through all three of these calculations and then we'll talk about what they mean. Okay, so let's start with we'll start with return on investment. So ROI is equal to my operating income divided by my total assets. So essentially what this ratio tells me is it tells me if I'm going to spend, start with this, if I'm going to spend ten million dollars in assets, what percentage what kind of return am I getting for my $10 million investment? So in this case, 1,076,000 is being earned off of $10 million in assets. And the percentage for that is 10.76%. So now if I put, you know, if I put $10 million in a savings account right now in 2015, I am going to get a return of probably a quarter of a percent, maybe a half a percent. But if I invest my $10 million in these assets, I'm going to get a return. I did get a return of 10.76%. Okay, so that's one way to look at it. I could put that money in the stock market, and right now I could probably get a return about equal to that. Okay. But then in that case, I'm not creating jobs, I'm not working, so you kind of have to be able to put this number into perspective. So let's say that the desired rate of return that management would like to see is equal to, let's say, 8%. Well, if that's the case, then we're doing a lot better than that, okay? so. With rate of with uh, return on investment, you kind of need to have some perspective, okay. So, all right, let's look at margin, okay. So, profit margin my margin is operating income over sales. So, if I do that calculation, that is one million. 76,000 
over 6,650,000. So essentially what this ratio does is it tells me the percentage of each sales dollar that is going to become profit. So in this case, if I do the math on this, this is 16.81%. So that means that for every dollar in sales, 16.18 cents, okay, or 16.18% is profit, okay. Now with turnover, and remember this is asset turnover, Asset turnover is sales over total assets. What this ratio tells you is it tells you how efficiently you are using your assets to generate sales. So if I have sales of 6,650,000 and I have $10 million in assets, that means that my assets are turning over into sales six uh, point six seven times okay so the higher this number is right the more sales you're generating with your assets okay the lower the number is the less sales you're generating with your assets so you want to have this be a high number if the number is over one then that means that your sales are exceeding your assets so if I take these two numbers and I multiply them together, that equals 10.76%. Okay. So remember, return on investment, this is used for investment centers where we are trying to measure asset efficiency. So it's really the turnover part that measures the asset efficiency. Okay, so that's really where you get that. So that's it. That's all there is to return on investment. Now if you have any questions about this video, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom. If you thought it was helpful, please like it, share it with your friends, and um, I hope you subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a great day.